Hey, I'm coming to you today with uh, one last entry from the anointed words of this book, the book of the Most High, by Alan James O'Reilly. If you remember from a couple videos past, his simple repeated usage of words such as King James 1 and such as Sinaiticus and Vaticanus released a anointing uh, of understanding from his words to my spirit by the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to bring you today one more um, occurrence of that in my reading of his book. And it was with Westcott and Hort. So we're going to get into that today. And as always, we're going to remind you that in essence, a word is a container for a spirit. And what a spirit is in Westcott and what a spirit is in Hort. This is from page 11 of my book, Concealed from Christians for the Glory of God, the 1611 King James Bible. What do we mean by a spirit it's concealed in a word? Well, these are examples we've covered before. Good has God, devil has evil, deceived has Eve, first woman deceived, redemption has red for the blood of Jesus, Bleed has blessed because all of our blessings are founded upon the fact that Jesus has died for our sins. Stripes are the priests who he brought forth. And bride rib from Adam, the first bride. Yesterday we saw word in the word worlds because as Hebrews tells us, the worlds were framed by the word of God. We're going to see... It not only does Sinaiticus and Vaticanus have spirits, but the men who catapulted the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus in today's translations were full of wicked spirits. Let's do a crash course reminder on Sinaiticus and Vaticanus. Remember, these are the supporting manuscripts of all modern Bible translations, which are akin to Catholic Bibles in their heritage. Okay, that's your crash course. Go watch yesterday's Sinaiticus and Vaticanus decoded video for a full breakdown on this. We need to remind ourselves also in opposition to that Sinaiticus and Vaticanus codex and codex is the Textus Receptus. Crash course on it. It is the supporting manuscript body of the King James Bible. And that was in yesterday's video with Sinaiticus and Vaticanus decoded. And one of the things we saw in yesterday's video of that is the unclean spirit of the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus versus the clean spirit of the Textus Receptus. And a word being a container for a spirit. Well, of course, we saw then that the unclean spirit hosting the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus uh, is Satan. You see in here, Satan and in here, Satan. We had a double testimony. The clean spirit, however, of the Textus Receptus is the true spirit of God. We saw so many things besides Satan in the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus and so many things besides true being the Textus Receptus in those words Again, go back and watch Sinaiticus and Vaticanus decoded because out of the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus brought to you by Satan has come the NIV, ESV, NASB, NKJV, Living Bible, etc., etc., etc. But the clean spirit of the Textus Receptus has brought us the true word of God, the King James Bible. Now, having recapped that important coverage of the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus versus the Textus Receptus, we come to these men right here, Westcott and Hort. We are about to decode these agents of Satan. 
here's a crash course on them. They are the two men responsible for today's false Bibles through the vaulting of the Sinaiticus and Vaticanus over the Textus Receptus. All of your Bibles today are coming as a result of the influential role of these two men. These two men were the chief pawns of Satan in our modern times to bring us the removing of the standard of God, the King James Bible. Now, here's a quotation from TextusReceptusBibles.com. It'll help you understand the role that these men played. To Westcott and Horde, the King James Bible was clearly an inferior translation. It must be replaced by a new translation from texts that they considered to be older and better. That would be your Sinaiticus and Vaticanus texts in their appraisal. They believed that the true work of God in English had been held back by an inferior Bible. Now, that would be the King James Bible. They determined to replace the King James Bible and the Greek Textus Receptus. And that's exactly what Satan used these men for, and what he did and achieved through them. So, let's begin with Hort, and let's decode him. If you look at this picture right here, next to the man, Hort, are you able, with a picture, to decode this? Now that I give you a picture, are you able to put together what this means? I saw it immediately when the Spirit opened my eyes. And it's this right here. Hort is the exact same letters as Thor. And Thor's hammer, which is exactly what this is right here that you're looking at, is the divining hammer of destruction. Now remember, these men here, they wanted to destroy the Textus Receptus and ultimately get at and vault the King James Bible. So it makes total sense that in the witchcraft of Satan and in the occult of the kingdom of darkness, that there was a reason that this man was chosen. And that's the reason right there, because his name makes up the word Thor for Thor's hammer. Now, I don't believe that we've even begun to understand the relationship between spiritual matters and earthly matters and why it is important that this man was selected on the basis that his name spells Thor. It's not just craft work as in art there's more to this than we've even begun to begun to begin to understand but nonetheless we see it thor's hammer hort decoded next we're going to go to his partner in crime westcott here he is right here now, I'm going to ask you a question based on that. Three red T's. The question is, do you know any words that have three T's in them? Because not a lot of words have three T's in them. But I know one that does. And it's this word right here. Textus Receptus. What a match. See the three T's? See the three T's? See Thor's hammer right here? Thor's hammer for destroying the Textus Receptus right there. That's what it is for smashing. And that means the three crosses of Calvary. Just like that. Look at that. 
Calvary. There they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. That's Luke 23, 33. Three T's in Textus Receptus. These three T's are the three crosses of Calvary. One in the middle, one on the left, one on the right. Unbelievable and mysterious from both God's side and Satan's side. West Cotton Hort decoded. Thor's hammer. There's Thor right there. Thor's hammer for destroying the Textus Receptus. A word is a container for a spirit. Page 11, concealed from Christians for the glory of God. In 1611, King James Bible. You say this is ridiculous? I say to you, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto glory. 1 Corinthians 2, 7. So, you're in a mystery. Christ is a mystery. Church is a mystery. The King James Bible is a mystery. The things that are taking place in the triumph of the word of God as it does battle with the kingdom of darkness is a mystery too. But that mystery has been decoded in part today in seeing Westcott and Thor. In Jesus' name, may you be blessed. May you believe evermore because you have seen today. Behold, a mystery.